welcome to the uh, virtual showcase. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> um, so how are you doing today? I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, warm here in Germany, so it's a, it's a pretty nice day. Yes, I, I'm, we're, we are finally here blessed with no snow and a bit of sunshine. So we're, yeah. <laughs> we're, over, we're over the moon about that. <laughs> um, so um, I, I suppose um, we should uh, introduce you. Uh, you are the, um, the, the, the uh, Grand Master of GameGenic. Uh, <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> right, that's a team behind, but yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm the head of uh, GameGenic. So basically, uh, as I, I mentioned, I'm the CEO of uh, GameGenic GmbH, which is a company created uh, in the uh, in the family of Asmone, hmm. and I'm on the same time also the head of studio, the creative mastermind behind all the products that we do. And uh, although GameGenic is a new brand, its team is not. I have I am experienced in this field for over ten years now. So and I, I brought in the past many revolutionary products that change a lot in the accessories world. That's right. That's right. Um, and uh, uh, and I I realise now that we've got we've forgotten to say your name. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can see it so, on my screen. Okay. Shall we restart? Then? <laughs> okay. My name is Adrian Alonso. Again, I'm the head of studio of Game Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I think I think uh, that's good. Yeah, and I'm basically I'm I'm uh, Spanish. Or my origins are Spanish, but I live uh, in Germany since uh, more than thirty years. So I'm basically a, a kind of everything, a prototype of a, a European guy. That's a prototype. Very good. Uh, uh, so um, so the issue that's just landed on people's doormats uh, here in the UK, uh, yes. very excitingly, has some game genic uh, card sleeves um, in it. Uh, and so I'm I'm uh, a heathen most of the time because um, I don't have I don't necessarily have the time to sleeve all my cards. Um, Come on, shoot! <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's expected. Exactly the look I was expecting to get. But now I will obviously uh, every single time. So what what makes um, your card sleeves different? Yeah, basically, um, before I go to the card sleeves, I will mention what makes GameGenic different. Because we, okay. as I as I mentioned, we started 2019. We're mm. we're a co company that was created inside the great Asmone family, mm. and with the purpose of doing something more than just uh, ordinary uh, accessories for for boxes or, or sleeves. Of course, we take into account um, what we can improve, and we strive to improve every single detail. That's uh, what GameGenic stands for. And um, we try to, to, to enrich the gamers' experience with offering them innovative products they didn't even consider themselves for. Mm -hmm. But once you have them, you, want, you don't want to miss them. And that's what uh, the magic behind GameGenic, or at least our mission behind that. And in terms of, uh, of um, the sleeves that you mentioned, <clears throat> sleeves are, are not so easy to produce. Sleeves is, uh, you, you might think uh, sleeves is just plastic, welded together and that's all. You need to have a consistency in size and that's all. Sleeves is a, is a, is a tough science. It's not easy to make good sleeves mm. in terms of how good they shuffle, how, how good uh, they uh, don't sleep, how good the size consistency is, but also in terms of uh, opacity. And in terms of opacity, especially when you talk about tournaments, etc., mm. it's an issue, issue on, on light colored sleeves. And we can tell that in our range, we were able to uh, to offer, uh, and this is the first offer of our sleeves. We will continue to uh, develop uh, uh, in this in this field. But we wanted to have affordable sleeves in the in the mid price region, which have all the aspects of the very expensive ones, mm -hmm. meaning opacity and light colors. There's no there's no sleeve out there in this price range with this kind of opacity. Especially if you talk about white sleeves or, or, or yellow sleeves, you can see through the car usually, uh, and at, this is an issue for tournaments. And with our, our sleeves, we avoided uh, this at a at an affordable price range. And uh, what I uh, really love as well is how they shuffle. This yeah. is the difference of our sleeves. This is the thing. Um, these are all. Uh, I think. Um... This is how I talk to people about um, accessories from Game Genic, um, which especially the ones we'll come on to later. Um, but uh, uh, they are they are things that you don't know you wanted, um, and then as soon as you have one, <laughs> you, you, you can't really go back. 
you can't yeah. really go back um and for those of um for those of you like myself who are i'm rubbish at shuffling um the, the <laughs> it sounds silly to say but the cards make you better the, sorry the sleeves make you better at shuffling <laughs> <laughs> that's fact that's true that's a fact yeah yeah that's a fact you don't damage during shuffling yeah. that's also why i sleep basically all my cards really because uh, uh you damage when you are sh shuffling the mm. cards especially when they when they are new mm. you're damaging the edges edges of the cards when you're shuffling them depending on how you shuffle of course yeah but uh, yeah that's a that's a, a big reason why to sleep your cards as well of course if you are drinking things or you have very very valuable uh, cards and you don't mm. want People eating uh, nuts or, 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 <laughs> or chips, uh, touching your cards, etc. So it's pretty, it protects your cards. No one needs snacks on their cards, do they? Uh, no snacks. <laughs> uh, so, um, uh, so what what's coming next for um, GameGenic in this in this area in particular? In the sleeves area? Yeah. Well, we we uh, so basically we need to do, differentiate a little bit between the mm -hmm. sleeves. So. Uh, there is the range, the ones that were in, in the in the magazine, mm. which is uh, the standard size ones, which are basically made for Pokemon Magic, etc. Mm -hmm. This is the standard size uh, kind of sleeves, and this is why I meant opacity is so key on this kind of sleeves. Then, besides that, we have a full range of board game sleeves, which are uh, clear sleeves, mm -hmm. completely clear sleeves on both sides. And here we have. Uh, um, we kept, this is important to know also, we kept on the board game sleeves, the, uh, since we are part of the Asmodee family, mm -hmm. the color code range that FFG was introducing in their games. Oh, yes. So uh, on every single product of, uh, of Asmodee, or part of the studios of Asmodee, on the back of the box, you will see a tag with the recommendations of which kind of sleeves fit the best with this game. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and before it was only done with uh, FFG, with the color code on their games, we uh, used this color code and we extended it to all the other studios that belongs to uh, to Asmodee. So uh, in terms of, of uh, clear sleeves, we have uh, the seven uh, different sizes that FFG had and added six more to have an answer also on the mm -hmm. all the European uh, needed ones. And in the welding strength, we have videos, uh, videos on our YouTube channel. I recommend to follow our YouTube channel <laughs> where you can see the strength of the welding of this kind of sleeves. This is pretty awesome. And it's about protecting the game. It's about protecting your, your, your cards, etc. And um, this is the, 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 the board game sleeves, the range of board game sleeves, which we have in full clear glossy ones and matte ones. Mm -hmm. Matte is also important if you are in tournaments and you have the lights Mm -hmm. yes. you, you will They're get shiny. eye fatigue during gameplay if you uh, if you are have the reflections all the time. Mm. So matte sleeves is a great recommendation from my side. And besides that, we also have the what we call the art sleeves, which we did for Keyforge mm -hmm. oh, before, yes. and we are doing now for Marvel sleeves, which are pretty well uh, accepted in the market. Everyone, uh, every customer. Uh, uh, we receive a lot of customers uh, uh, telling us how uh, how good they look, and I can spoil something that nobody knows now. Mm. So we have introduced nine different uh, sleeves for now for the Marvel Champions game, with the initial uh, uh, Marvel Champions heroes plus one, which was Captain uh, uh, America. And now, uh, in the near future, and you're the first ones to hear, we will have nine more, Excellent. and I can spoil two of them. I can spoil, we will have Hulk and we will have Excellent. Thor. Excellent. And I can tell you, Hulk and Thor, people will love these sleeves. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> That's very good. And we assume the Hulk sleeves are somehow bigger. No. Okay. Well, <laughs> or stronger. At, at, least, at least the graphics are bigger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really cool well thank thank you for that yeah um so these i think um uh something like it's worth pointing out for people at uh, home as well is that um this as you say these can be used for um uh in your boxed board games that use cards as well which i think i think people think of sleeves as like as you say like tournament play and like collectible card games quite a lot um and just uh just like protecting your game is quite important if you're going to be playing marvel champions uh, in ten years' time, um, if you yeah. if you still want to be doing that, um, then yeah, you do need to <laughs> uh, sleep. Yes, the there's a there's a lot of games. Not only in Magic, because in Magic uh, we all know that there are very valuable cards that sell mm. for thousands of uh, dollars. <clears throat> but 
for example, uh, Keyforge. If you if you damage one card of Keyforge, you can throw out your full deck because this deck only exists one time. That's true. So protecting protecting your cards is uh, very crucial. <clears throat> and 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 the reason, for example, why uh, we we introduce uh, Catan sleeves is because mm. uh, uh, I'm a big fan for, uh, from Catan myself for 25 years since it appeared for the first time in Germany. And I had I have cards from the very beginning, from the mm. very first uh, um, issue of the game, which I would have loved to protect. And now mm. they look like uh, very old after 25 years because we played a lot with these kind of cards. And for all kind of board games that you play a lot or you love and you want mm. to protect, I recommend uh, sleeping. And if you are, uh, I, and I think I really think it's illegal. To not sleep your part. <laughs> you should go to prison if you don't do that. <laughs> that's the, that's the uh, title of this video. Uh, it's going to be. It should be. <laughs> Um, uh, I think I think that's um, that's important. That 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 brings us on to um, the, your other products as well, which are kind of like. Um, uh, and I see immediately now that you've said that where this has all come from. Uh, <laughs> obviously, clearly a personal love and um, a desire to have protected these games that you've had. Um, for so long because I, I think a lot of people who pick up games in, in the hobby especially here in the UK uh, who have come into the hobby side of gaming um, they don't necessarily know that they're going to be playing this game in 25 years when they start um, you know you start with a Catan or a Carcassonne or something like that um, uh, and you don't necessarily know that you're going to s still need to be protecting this game in 25 years so you, you treat it probably quite roughly but I think yeah, five, ten years down the line, you're like, I, I should have, <laughs> I should have done something. <laughs> people, people in our age should also think on next generation. I'm playing, I'm Absolutely. playing the Catan initial game also with my with my kids. So it's of course the the you have always a, an emotional uh, binding to the game you you love, and uh, it is important to protect or to enrich gamers' experience. So mm -hmm. basically, as I mentioned, Gamegenic is not only to protect the games. It's not about just storage boxes or 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 just uh, sleeping your cards, mm. it's about enriching game experience during gameplay. Mm. And with, with, with the personal love that you have with something, you want to protect this, or you want to to bring the, the game, the already very, very uh, uh, good game, to the next level. Exactly. And this is uh, what game genic is all about. So, exactly, that's it. You, you want to pass it on as well, which brings us to things like um, the, uh, the uh, Watchtower, um, uh, and also the Catan uh, boxes, uh, which are fabulous. Um, so should we start with the Botch Tower? Because that's a um, we we mentioned that in our um, top accessories video um, earlier in um, sorry last year, uh, and because uh, we think it's fabulous, um, and it's just it's just a nice way to keep hold of your cards. <laughs> um, yeah, um, and in a way that is transportable. You also things like. Um, uh, if you're running an RPG, they're excellent as well because you keep you keep most of your dice in the uh, top. There's a little drawer as well. We'll put some video. We'll edit some video. I, I can do I can do a quick demo if you want. If you oh yeah oh absolutely do, yes okay let's go. Why let's do we it. decided like that? Just uh, give me a second. <laughs> so this is the the new watchtower that we are bringing into Ooh. the market, which is the exclusive line one, which is a, a cool combination of, uh, of um, exterior material mm. and also inner lining. Very nice, very nice. And what 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 is the difference of, of this product? What makes this uh, product so different than all the others? So first thing is uh, when you have a, a product like that, um, you there are similar products in the market. You always have the problem of a flap that it's... it's mm. uh, um, uh, very annoying because either you take out the tray that is inside to be able to uh, take out your cards, mm -hmm. then you need to close the box and put it away. You know you cannot use it during gameplay. No. And and uh, with our products, almost all of them you can use them during gameplay. So first of all, what we have is this unique convertible system. So yeah. instead of having a flap here, which is annoying, and you need to either close that. Or, or, or leave it open, you just can take it away. Yeah, that's it. And you might say, yeah, I can take it away, but I will lose that. Because if I forget it somewhere, no, you don't need to lose that because with our system, you can put it just on the backside. You clip it on the backside. Yeah, beautiful. So yeah. now you have full accessibility, just an independent accessibility to your drawer. And this is also something interesting here with the notches. 
nobody saw it before before because before you had here a drawer and mm -hmm. you have the notch here this little notch here would mean that small parts small dice can't fall out mm -hmm. you our our uh, drawers are fully closed and so with this small notch since we are able to take the flap out and put it on the back side and you see even the design is made that you are still able to take it out even if the flap is on the back side now you have independent accessibility to your to a drawer and then you can put the drawer like that on the table second thing is same thing for the flap usually you have a flap which is disturbing annoying mm -hmm. so you take it away you clip it just on the back side so you're not wasting any space on your gaming table okay. it's the same space as the box has and now you have a drawer here for a compartment for cards and i will take some cards and usually they're you not, have the cards. They're nicely they're nicely sleeved, of course. They are, <laughs> they are even double sleeved <laughs> to double protect that. So you can you can take the cards uh, uh, completely out of the box. Yeah. And now with this drawer, this drawer has also a purpose now, because you can flip the cards out, and if you have slippery sleeves, you have now for the very first time an integrated card card deck holder, card stack holder. Mm -hmm. So I can I can use it during gameplay. It's like there. If I shake the table, etc., and I have slippery sleeves, mm. and especially on a commander deck, uh, which you have usually 100 double slip cards, which mm. is a pile like that, they will fall around. So you don't need uh, this anymore. You can take them, you can draw the cards, put it on the on the back, uh, on the bottom one, etc., etc. So you have completely full accessibility with these cards, and you can use it for Magic, you can use it for Pokemon, you can use it for many, many, many different games. Mm. You can, uh, if you use it for 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 to, to talk about Marvel Champions, for example, you can put dividers here mm -hmm. and have three different decks with you and all the tokens, etc., that goes with that. Mm -hmm. And you have always the flap with you without having annoying flaps that is wasting space on your table. So mm -hmm. I can also here just close the uh, upper side and take the the bottom side uh, uh, out. Yeah, that's great. This is, this is the difference in the watchtower. So we, we really think of every single detail, how we can we can bring maybe existing ideas to the next level mm -hmm. or bringing new ideas, which I can show you with one product that was not uh, uh, announced yet. You will Ooh. be the first one to hear about Ooh. this product. Well, well um, yes. <laughs> Shall we do that? <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. I like you may, I think you've demoed these before, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, it's not the first time. <laughs> So, in terms of Catan, let me just quick uh, do a quick demo here. What we did with Catan and yeah, what can, I yeah. mentioned about uh, using it during gameplay mm. with the Catan box is the problem is in the English version of Catan you don't have any card holder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have them on the European version one, which are uh, very small cards, but this is an, this is a tray that is made of of uh, of, of plastic clamshell plastic. Mm. But you don't have any any card holder in the English version of the game, mm -hmm. and I think this is an issue because I always play the European version and we have card holders, and not having them having the cards on the on the table just laying around, I don't think it's in a it's a good uh, gaming experience. So we wanted to have a box that has a solution for that, but mm -hmm. in a very compact way. So it's a compact compact box. Look at the size of my hand. It's a very compact box, convenient box. And first of all, what you can do here is take the flap out. You can take the flap out and you can open it here. It's all done by magnets. Yeah. You open it here and you have now accessibility to the cards. Okay, so you have even gaps here that you are able to get the la even the la down to the last card mm -hmm. on, on, on the, That's great. during gameplay. The thing is you have uh, five resources plus the, the, the development cards. And you might say, yeah, that's compact. Adrian, I love what you did here, but it's it's very good to take the cards here in and out. But it's very annoying what you did here. It's, it doesn't make any sense. Well, I have a look at that. Are you prepared for the magic? I am. Look. Wait. Look. <laughs> it's fabulous. We have, we have integrated mechanics here that you uh, cannot see. They are seamless, and it's a, it's a good counterweight. So if this is full of cards, mm. this will not fall down, even yeah. though if people are trying to get the cards at the same time, etc. 
And now you have perfect accessibility to the uh, cards that are below and to the cards mm. that are on top. And this is a product that you can use during gameplay. Mm. It enriches the gaming experience mm. by a lot. And when you're finished, it's at the same time, of course, a storage box. You can storage your cards here. Yeah. The magnets are so strong that you can even shake the box upside down. The cards will not pop, the box will not pop open and are safely protected. It's a storage box, but mm. we are not doing just storage solutions. We're doing game enriching solutions. And this is what we're doing here. So if you think this is cool, I do believe you think it's cool, right? I think it's cool. And I can, uh, the thing I immediately think as well is that um, this is um, something you you pass on to your, uh, your you know your firstborn child at some point and say, hey, yeah. here you go. Here's my Catan uh, in the uh, pristine um, uh, boxes that I put it in. So uh, let me just show you one more thing because yeah. if you think it's cool, there's one more thing. Yeah. <laughs> so you saw that I that I put that I took out the flap and this mm. flap. It's so cool that it magically converts into a dice tray. Yes, yes. See, it? so, pretty... <laughs> so you have a dice tray, and look at that. No clips, nothing. I'm just doing like that, and it clips by itself. But yeah. it's at the same time the cover of the box. So you have all everything that you need for Kata and during gameplay in one single box. Mm -hmm. And this is the special things I'm talking about about Game Jelly. Yeah, it's there is it's that it's a design level which is the uh, sort of like closeness to magic, isn't it? You know, and it's not just because you're using magnets, which feel like magic anyway. Uh, it's, it's also because you've thought about everything there. Um, I've got no idea how that mechanism works to move the tray out, um, and I'm sure it's I'm sure it's actually magic somehow. Uh, <laughs> well, it's not that magic if you take it out, uh, <laughs> but yeah. It's impressive, at least when you see it for the first mm, time. Right. But uh, to have the idea and to be able to the, the engineering behind, because we do all the engineering by ourselves. So all the prototypes that you see here, there's no external studio mm. that is doing that. We are thinking of every single detail here in terms of mechanics, in terms of quality, in terms of enriching games. Mm. This this brand is built by ex ex experts in this field. Mm. So we're experts for games. We're experts for accessories. And the, the combination combination of both is, is what makes us, I do believe, so so different. And to to we we try to have the very best ideas with the very best quality because we do believe that only the mixing of both is what makes the difference. Mm -hmm. If you have great ideas but uh, not not so good quality, it will not work. If you have just better quality than the others but you are doing the same thing it will also not work. It's the combination of both. And that's what uh, Game Chain stands for. That's great. Cool. That looks so, fabulous. So do we... you want me to spoil the product that absolutely uh, we will have the very first announcement. And this is a product that nobody has thought of before. We call this product, it, it has this size. Ooh. And we call this product the cards layer. Okay. <laughs> it's the layer for cards. What is different about this product? A lot. First of all, we we have many different boxes. We have many different sizes for many kind of different uh, solutions. We have a very uh, successful product, which is called the Dungeon, which is a big box meant mm -hmm. to hold different boxes, etc. But since this box is meant for holding cards, boxes, and a lot of different things, you can fit cards inside, but it's not made really for cards. Mm. And we wanted to have a product that is only made for cards. And that's the reason this is called the Cards Layer. Mm. So first of all, this one doesn't convert into a dice tray, but you see it's also a convertible idea. So mm. usually if you have a box from this size, you would have a, a flap that goes like that. Mm -hmm. And it's either wasting your space on the table, because look at the size of that. Mm -hmm. So either you need to close it or you need to leave it open, having precious space uh, wasted. Mm -hmm. With our convertible system, you don't, you don't need that because you can put it on the bottom and it will clip perfectly. So you can use it during a gaming night, during the gameplay. This is the idea behind. And also if this is full of cards, the problem would be that it has a lot of weight and you can have so powerful magnets as you want, mm -hmm. but if they will, if we shake it upside down, the box will pop open. 
And we had with our dungeon this, uh, what we call the noobs, it's mm -hmm. like knobs, which at the same time together with magnets, since we have magnets, so they position by themselves on the mm -hmm. right position. So it's a closing mechanism that works for itself. And now if you if this is full of cards, you can shake it upside down and it will not topple. So the, the map, you can put it on the on the bottom and clip it like that. Now you have space to fit here over over four hundred double slip cards. <laughs> So and, and and what I mentioned before is this is done for the in uh, for the purpose of holding cards. Mm -hmm. So uh, you don't have a, uh, they are not loose inside. Mm -hmm. You don't have extra width that you would need for for, for storage of boxes etc. This is only for cards. So now they are perfectly fitting 400 yeah. double slip cards. If you know magic, this is perfect. For example, for the format cube draft, you can have 400 double slip cards here. Yeah. You can use it, and and since it it stays open like that with the flap not wasting space, you can use it during the gaming night. Mm -hmm. During game, can stays open like that. If you are not using magic and you need it for, for example, Arkham Horror, or mm -hmm. for example, a large collection of Marvel Champions or whatever, in board game sleeves, if you don't double sleeve these cards in board game sleeves, you can fit over 550 cards here inside. So you have a large collection of decks with you for uh, perfect for a gaming night. Besides that, if you talk about uh, magic, you have here extra slots. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, size. yes. Oh, can we see what card that is? Just out of interest. Yes, excellent. That's that's um, that's the pack I got. Yeah, <laughs> Omni, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so you can you can fit here cards even if they are sleeved. Mm -hmm. You can he have your commander cards here. So if you have different uh, uh, commander decks, you can have your oversized commander cards sleeved here as well. And here mm -hmm. there's an egg slot, and this is done for a, a life pad. You can put a standard life pad here inside, so you have everything you need with uh, with you mm -hmm. in, during the uh, uh, gaming night. Brilliant. We have a top level, as you can see. Yes, that looks suspect. This top level, this top level is uh, during uh, while you are playing, since it can stay open. You can put drawn cards here, for example. Mm -hmm. You can have a selection of uh, tokens that you want to have here. Mm -hmm. Use meeples, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so whatever you need for the gaming night, it can be put here during gameplay, or you can use it as a mini dice tray. This works perfectly also as a mini dice tray. So you're not throwing the dice all around. Wow. You are, you are throwing your dice here inside. So, as I mentioned, there's always one more thing when yes. we present something. <laughs> <laughs> and here, for the first time, look at that. Also mm -hmm. with magnets, you can open it here. <laughs> and then That's you cool. have here two drawers. Mm -hmm. But we're not talking here about drawers like that, which are pretty awesome, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. because you don't have here the gap to mm -hmm. take it out. We're talking here about drawers that, that's, that are so revolutionary that we have patented this idea. Oh. So usually with these drawers, this drawer fit a full deck of uh, Keyforge double sleeve. Mm -hmm. they, they fit a full deck of Arkham Horror or they fit also a full deck of Marvel Champions. So you can have here two full decks of Marvel Champions. The problem would be if you have sleeve cards here, mm -hmm. And you have the gap here, since we can, we don't have the gaps on the sides here because it's not possible because of the design here. Mm -hmm. Usually, it will be very awkward to put your finger here if the cards are inside, mm -hmm. because there's, you would don't have space to put the, 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 your finger in between. We are here integrating a drawer that has a new uh, flag mechanism, which is held by magnets. Look at that. I can just do that. Oh, and yeah. now I have... And now I can easily take this out. Oh, hi. And this is a full deck. And yeah. this is done by magnets. Look at that. Clap. It clips yeah. by itself. You can put it uh, uh, inside. But here, uh, completely effort, effort, effortless, you can pull out your drawer. And besides that, we have a small deck here. Mm -hmm. So since here it's a full deck of cards, you can put decks of cards, tokens, mm -hmm. or whatever. Usually, you would need to take this in, out like that. Mm -hmm. I hate doing that. Mm -hmm. No product of ours need to do to be done like <laughs> it to take your cards in and out. So the second thing about this drawer is you can with the magnet you can 
open them and you have a gap and now you have so an easy accessibility to your full deck mm -hmm. look at this yeah so i'm holding the full deck of keyforge cards here i can put it in and out and effortless down to the last cards i can take it in and out so you have two drawers here with this mechanism which is pretty unique and all of this inside a box that still fits in a in a regular backpack. So from the, from from the size, still fits in a, a backpack. So four hundred over four hundred double sleeve cards. If these are in board game sleeves, over five hundred fifty cards. A top level here, which you can be used during gameplay for your drawn cards as mini dice or whatever. And two additional hidden drawers with this mechanics mm -hmm. to be able to take the cards in and out. This is it's crazy. Uh, <laughs> and this all with our Nexo Fiber material, with uh, with uh, this premium quality. You you didn't know that you want it, but you will you will see it the first time you will see it, use it, you will love it. Absolutely, yeah. Um, so uh, straight on to the nitty gritty. Then, when when is the world going to uh, get their hands on that? Yeah, you are the very first one to hear about that. So we even in my end of March, we, when this will be broadcasted, uh, uh, people will not uh, have the announcement yet on this product. So you're the re uh, for, for real the very first ones. We plan to have this product in the market in June, around okay. June, mid June, beginning of July at the latest. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the problem is uh, right now with the situation all around mm -hmm. the world. It takes a little bit longer, but. Uh, it was planned for May. Now we are planning June. Yeah, yeah, that's that's really cool. And and these things, um, they do they do change the way you think about um, playing games and 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 that sort of thing. And I'm I'm trying to imagine how I would use that. And I I feel like I would use it as I was I would load a game from its box into that, uh, yeah. and then take it take it over to my friend's house and then would play a game that way sort of thing rather than because I've. Um, I get accused of this in the office, actually, of um, driving too fast around roundabouts when I bring a game in uh, because the pieces are everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the cards are everywhere um, in the box from the, when we arrive. Um, and, uh, yes, this seems to be the solution <laughs> to that problem. That's exactly what it's all about. So we, in, in our official um, uh, text that we will be providing when we are announcing that, mm -hmm. it will, will be written, this is the perfect companion for a gaming night. Mm -hmm. That's it. Because you have all your cards, all your decks that you need to have with you, and during the gaming night, it can stay open and you can use it you, while you are playing. So it's not taking a lot of space on your gaming table. With if you take it into account how many cards you have with you here, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, it's a, it's it's have it's it's to have new ideas and new solutions around. Great gaming nights as soon as we are able to do that again. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, that is, <laughs> that is the yeah the thing we're all waiting for right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. So, um, well, uh, thank you for sharing these things with us. Um, is there anything else you'd like okay. to share with us at all? Well, there are a lot of things to do. Uh, <laughs> there are a lot of things still remaining, but I cannot unveil everything. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's quite. But hard. I can. I can promise. I can promise. Uh, uh, if you like this product. This will be the first of uh, many products in this range. Very good, very good. Well, we're, we're all looking forward to it. Um, so, uh, Adrian, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. And thank you for showing off and demoing everything for us. Um, I'm really excited for this. Um, we're especially looking forward to that in June, maybe July. Uh, yeah. And because uh, and also uh, we're hoping by then we might be able to meet up with people and play games. So, yeah. it's perfect I'll, timing. We'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was a great pleasure.